uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson was like saying, you know, could you be immortal? Would you be immortal? If I could know the future a certain amount of time ahead of time, I wouldn't mind being like situationally immortal, you know? That makes sense. Yeah. See, I, I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to know that because then I'd be, be, I would be too cocky. Oh, I'm going to die by a shark attack when I'm 85. Well, then I'm going to have this cheeseburger. Sir, you've had six already. I'm not going to die. So don't worry about it. Hey, rich a-holes are rich a-holes. They all pay top dollar to come here and enjoy a consequence-free vacation. No death, no disease, no dismemberment. Oh, Can't even have a heart attack. Got it. The perfect place to take the most fragile being in the universe. I yeah, I didn't really mean that. I mean, <laughs> I just would like to witness the death of the universe without, like, accidentally having to float through space for eons on end. Oh. You fucking racist. <laughs> And not the worst. It's fucking about like it. that episode of Rick and Morty when that fucking he has infinite live things and he just like does a whole bunch of horrible shit. There were definitely consequences. That's right, you little bitch. It's the prestige. You prestige Rick, yourself. How many did I you kill? Tell me, Morty. Every time you reset to smell Jessica's hair, every time you relive a satisfying fart, that's how many Mortys you've incinerated, you greedy little junkie. Oh god, even those times when I Especially those times. In, real, in reality, he's just, what, jumping timelines or whatever? Yeah, yeah, he's just, like, killing infinite Mortys. And he's like, oh, my God, Rick! He's like, yeah, yeah! How do you like it now, Morty? How do you like it now? But, yeah, so, like, the, and then after that conversation of being immortal or whatever, I was like, oh, we've had deep episodes before, but none that were like, yeah. what's the purpose of life? The answer to life, the universe, everything. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything is 42. What is your purpose of life, Daryl? I don't know. All I know, I feel like my purpose has been fear. Like, uh, and that, let, me, let me explain, let me explain. I'm listening. So, fear has always been a running thing. Fear of being like the parents that were before me, or fear of regret, or fear of losing my kids, or fear of whatever. I I believe my my purpose is to to yes look for purpose, yes look for quote unquote a hobby or a job or whatever, but also to. To not just get hung up on it, to to sit to sit back in the chair, if you will, and enjoy the little moments, the the sneezes that Ray has, the the length of my fucking grass because I gotta cut it. Jesus, Daryl. Driving down the road and listening to my favorite song at that moment in time because I know in six months I'm not gonna know. That song or even care about it so living in the moment there just just the little things yeah if i never get an audio engineer job of what of what i want if my kids become crack whores what the fuck <laughs> then i have these memories or 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 if i get alzheimer's and then i then i have my life that the, I've cherished those little moments so that when I do die and I get to, I get to heaven or whatever, and they say, have you brought, have you found joy in your life? And I'm just like, yes, I've saw my two kids raise up. I had a best friend for like 60 years. I've bought a shelter that I couldn't stop smiling at. Were there issues? Yeah. But the, the, those little, the sneezes is what really made it worth it. And that's what I think my life is. I, I believe that's my purpose is to sit back and enjoy those little moments. And and, and if 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 uh, and, and it's not it's not saying like I'm not gonna seize the day and not get my career or whatever, but it's more or less. If it happens, that's a plus ten. But if it doesn't, I still got this badass Gyarados. All right. So what about you? What do you do? You feel like you found a purpose? Do you feel like you haven't? Dude, what's your Ah, uh, no way, man. There's no way I found my purpose in life. It's too early. 
<laughs> like life is challenge. Life is fighting. Life is not finding your purpose within the first couple of years of your life. You know, it's true. And like, I try so hard every day to find out what I need to do to be right by my kids. But sometimes I don't know, man, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing half the time. I don't know if I should even quit my job, do YouTube full time. If that'll make me happy. My goal in life has always been to be happy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I just don't know what will do it. Like, what will do it? What will, put, what will put me over the edge if you're like, oh, yeah, definitively happy now. I can now have my final orgasm and ride off into the sunset. <laughs> in a way, I wouldn't mind being immortal because it would give me the options to explore my options of what happiness is, you know? Yeah. Be like, oh, this is what happiness is like. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Only took finally me. get to figure it out. Only took me 3,000 years. Tits. Yeah. Tits found it, finally. Oh. Hashtag tits. Ha, how you like that? You gonna like that? Da, 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 da. like that? Well, I mean, that makes sense. Gosh. A lot of people don't know their purpose either, so. Yeah, like. So it's not bad. I don't know if, like, finding a purpose in your life might be just be bullshit. It might be. That's what that's why I'm that's why I'm thinking the way I'm thinking. I've kind of stopped. I mean, I'm thinking I've, that's yeah. really healthy, man. You need to do that. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I'm so much happier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a limo driver. <laughs> man, you are one pathetic loser. You are. Demonstratedly false on that. <laughs> no, it's, it's that's true. Are you saying we shouldn't be funny? Are you trying to put like a cap on my funniness? Fuck Cut. you. <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> You're fucking Nazi, man. Contraband check. What are these? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I I I don't know how they got there. Well, I think you do know. No, no, uh, it, uh, Der uh, Derek was in here earlier. He was uh, making the beds. He probably put them... Uh, I, I was in the john. <laughs> ah, 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 you guys are Nazis, man! You're freaking Nazis! Ah! Shh, 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 shh. Either way. Not everyone finds purpose in life, and the ones that don't, you gotta remember just to just sit back in the chair. What? Take care of the little The days. fuck is this dull ass like fucking tone you just took, man? Why don't you be more excited for your purpose in life? Uh, the existential dread of my life is crushing my soul right now. I just want to shit myself and die in my chair. I'm sorry. Dude, look. I'm you have to reach up there, seize life by the horns, and. <laughs> uh, the answer to who, what, who, what our purpose in life. Who cares? <laughs> now get in the car, Morty. <laughs> I am the Morty of this conversation. I am the Morty. I yeah, like Jesus, like so much of your time is spent on wondering like what your purpose in life is that some people just forget to live their fucking life. True. Like, yes, you, you have to be aware that eventually you will go into that dark, dark fucking night where you die and everyone misses you and you're like, oh, but I'm dead. They'll be like, who fucking cares? What? When it really comes down to it, man, everyone needs to remember that it's pretty cool. They huh? only have that life. They have to seize all of it right fucking now. You know? Yeah, sure. Completely. Like right fucking now. Completely. Yeah, 100%. I totally agree with you. Anyways, thank you everybody <laughs> for watching. I hope you like this video. And we will try to be more extravagant. No promises, though. Yeah. I...